I wanted to know if you have that little belly that bothers you. So watch this video with me until the end and I'll give you some tips on how to get rid of that belly easily. That little belly of yours just need to know one thing. Do you want it out of your body? You need to know how it got there. And a lot of people have no idea what they're eating that's making that little belly show up. Some people do, but that's okay. It's just once in a while, right? So the fact is that for you to have that little belly, you are bringing something from outside into the house to eat. Or you're leaving your house and looking for that little belly outside. And to lose weight, you need to know what the causes are that are making you in weight. Processed foods like snacks, bacon, sausage, pizza, burgers, lasagna, and those packaged snacks that you sometimes buy for your kid to have as a snack. Are you going to buy soda for your kid to have as a snack? You can't do that, guys. If it's not good for you, it's not good for half the world. And it's not good for your kid either, okay? Now we're here to lose weight. Shall we get to the diet? The foods that don't make you gain weight, generally, the ones that are good for your body are those that aren't addictive. They're the ones that have a light flavor. It's mild. The sweet isn't too sweet, you know? Boring. That's the one that's good for you. That won't make you gain weight. Because nature, it's a thing. It's eyes. It doesn't make us dependent on any food. Have you ever seen someone addicted to zucchini, addicted to beetroot? You eat a beet, you eat some lettuce, but if there's no salt and no seasoning, you're just going to eat enough. Because nature is like that. Your body isn't meant for you to eat nonstop. It's about having a limit. You've reached your limit of fullness. That's it. You eat, live. Look how interesting. And that's the proposal for weight loss. It's about eating to reach the level of fullness. You're nourished, doing well. Your brain isn't addicted to eating more. The foods that help you lose weight are the ones that don't stimulate your brain. Let's continue with the list of the foods that will help you lose weight. Shall we go first on the list? Oats, oats are an excellent food. They're a source of fiber protein and omega-3. It's super important and it's recommended to eat at least one to two tablespoons of oats a day. It will carry the fat out of your body. It has low glycemia, it's also cheap, and it has a high nutritional value. Cool, right? Second on the list is the... If you want a cheap and super nutritious food, an egg will help you lose weight and give you fullness. It has protein and omega-3 and it really fills you up. It's a top choice for weight loss. Eggplant, guys, do you like eggplant? I love eggplant. It's excellent for you. It lowers cholesterol. It helps you lose weight because it's a source of fiber. It gives you fullness and it's really diuretic. So it will help you eliminate toxins from your body. Broccoli, a source of fiber, has a protein in it. Can you believe you can eat broccoli? Oh, how wonderful. It has a protein in it. That's why it's highly recommended in weight loss diets. Broccoli has a high level of antioxidants. It's super low in calories. It's really good for you. Tomato, I've already talked about tomatoes. I mention them in every video. It's amazing. There's even a tomato diet because it has a lot of antioxidants, vitamins, and it's full of water to keep you hydrated. And it's a source of fiber. Foods with water are really good for us because to lose weight, we need water. So you're already getting water in your food, which is really good and very nutritious. Another top notch one is zucchini. It's a source of fiber, low glycemic index, carbohydrates, and it has a lot of water, right? As long as you don't cook it too much, okay. You need to grate the zucchini and it's really quick. Just toss it in the pan, saute it a bit and you're done. If you cook it a lot, you have the habit of putting it in water and putting pressure on it. Cooking zucchini raises glycemic index. You cook it less like carrots. So with zucchini, the less you cook it over heat, better. Just like with carrots, the less you heat this carbohydrate, the better. Just like with carrots, the less you eat this carbohydrate, the better. Okay. Cucumber is great for weight loss, guys. It's a fantastic antioxidant. It cleanses the body. It's really diuretic and it absorbs the minerals. It doesn't let you lose minerals while you're losing weight. And it is very low calories. Number 10 is cucumber. Pear. Pear is amazing. Pear and apple, right? They're Two really good fruits because they have low glycemic index and low sugar. You can consume it. It has a lot of fiber and keeps us feeling full. Rosemary tea. You can't forget that either. It's the dynamic duo. By the way, I make rosemary tea with lemon. I already take both. For what? To get these benefits, right? 
Rosemary tea in the same way not only cleanses the liver but also reduces body fat, visceral fat and gets rid of it. It cleanses toxins and is diuretic. Together the two of them give you a wonderful weight loss boost and hydrate you because it's a source of antioxidants. It hydrates you, heals you, treats you. There's already a video talking about rosemary tea, lemon water. If you haven't watched it, check it out. Lemon water is a must in your weight loss diet because it helps absorb vitamins, melts the fat in your liver, keeps you feeling full and also improves your digestion so you'll have much better digestion. And spinach. Wow, spinach is great in your diet. You could eat spinach every day. It's wonderful because it's a source of fiber and helps absorb iron and calcium. Sweet potato is also great for those who want to lose weight. So you swap regular potatoes for sweet potatoes. It's a source of fiber. It has a low glycemic index and it also helps you build muscle. If you're doing exercise, it will help you gain oxy's muscle mass without increasing your weight. Ginger is amazing for the body. It's a tonic for the liver. It's diuretic, thermogenic, and helps burn fat faster. Especially if you go for a walk or if you're eating very rich foods, you get a greater benefit from ginger. It has a lot of fiber, right? And it also boosts immunity, especially for those who are exercising, right? For those who are on a diet, you need to boost your immunity and ginger is perfect for that, okay? After drinking ginger tea or making that grated Japanese ginger, okay? With rice vinegar, it's wonderful. And cinnamon, you can't miss cinnamon. It's super thermogenic, helps you lose weight, keeps you feeling full and takes away your craving for sweets. Any little fruit you eat with a bit of cinnamon will curb your sweet tooth. Another exceptional food for weight loss is avocado oil. If you don't have it on your list, check out that video about avocado oil because it's amazing. It helps you lose weight because it's the only one that can lower your blood sugar in a short time. So it's really good for that. It reduces your serum glucose, improves your gut, heals you from leaky gut, protects your intestines, increases your intestinal motility, and helps you eliminate fats from your body more easily. I don't need to tell you that besides this list, you have to put in a little effort, at least a bit of exercise every day, 30 minutes, a walk, or some workout that makes the body understand that you want to lose weight. Because what is in inertia stays in inertia. You'll notice if you're trying to diet and not doing any exercise, body takes a while, to realize that you have some intention. It also doesn't react that quickly. Now, if you start moving in the first few days, your body goes, whoa, someone is burning energy here. Then it starts to work and sends out enzymes to burn fat and help you lose weight. Some scientific research has identified the functioning of our body in a really crazy way. When you're eating, the body understands that food is coming in. The brain communicates with the glands that send hormones and release hormones and enzymes to break down the fats and sugars you're consuming. Did you start chewing and food went into your belly? The brain already identifies that it will have to send enzymes to break that down. Cool. The brain already identifies that it will have to send enzymes to break that down. Cool. Scientists have identified that this only happens when you're eating. When you're not eating, do you think they shut off the enzyme supply? That's why it's so hard to lose weight. You don't have enzymes available to break down your fat when you're not eating. In other words, either you get those enzymes to lose weight, to break down fat while you're eating, or you're out of luck, you won't lose it. So you really have to work hard, do a lot of exercise, and keep a close eye on your diet to be able to lose weight. So scientists understood how this works, and there are already some dietary supplements that based on herbal medicine can communicate with your brain through receptors. When the herbal supplement, the capsule, enters the body, it already releases substances that the neurons recognize. Hey, it can produce enzymes to break down fat, and that's when the brain will release the enzymes to break down the fats. And then the body can start to release those enzymes that you only have access to when you eat, which is pretty cool. I found a vitamin complex like that, which is the Lift Detox Caps. This is what I recommend here because I found it really smart and it has several beneficial substances for our body that help improve our metabolism for weight loss. This is one of those supplements I told you about, one that I found amazing. The Lift Detox has no contraindications at all. You just take two capsules 
on 40 minutes before lunch and the second 40 minutes before dinner. You take this capsule. It enters the body and the brain recognizes that it's time to produce enzymes. So it starts producing enzymes 40 minutes before the food. You start producing. Before the meal, you begin to burn fat. And at mealtime, you start burning fat. Cool. And at dinner time, the same way. So I found it super interesting. For those who want to know more, there's a link in the first line of the description where everything is written out in detail and it's available in our online store. So in this way, it's a way to communicate with the body and make it work in our favor because we already do a lot. If it works a little harder, we can reach our goals. Cool. For those of you who like natural tips for healing and staying healthy, I'm putting together a free ebook down below. If you want, just click the link in the description and you'll get access to an ebook that summarizes all these natural guidelines for healing through nature. Just click the link here. Okay, it's completely free. Because I already have our playlist, we're growing the playlist. And now we were just missing an ebook to guide and orient you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and comment here with me. Tell me about your diet, what you're going to change, and what you're going to start doing. I want to keep up with you, okay? A big kiss for you all and see you next time.